Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. And you guys probably saw our bomb drop challenge episode uh, where Josh came away victorious. Yes. Uh, bomb drop winner. And Josh got the slap David. Yeah. And you guys probably want to see uh, what it took to uh, build those uh, bomb drops. So this is what we're going to show you today. Yes. And right now we have David flying the EPPF PV up there. Yes. Say hi, David. Hi. Hi. So, uh, and we got, we don't have bombs on it this time, do we? What do we no. got? We got a parachute guy. You got a, a parachute, parachute guy. guy. Yeah. When you drop him, can I catch him? Yeah, sure. Okay. Try to, at least. I'll give it a shot. Nice, go get it, man. It's like a running gazelle. Oh, wow, it really took it downwind. You did good, David. Thanks. It flies so good. Oh, you got it. Well, not only is our friend Josh great at hosting flight tests, but he is also great at catching parachutes dropped from model airplanes. So that's all good. Let's uh, let's see what the carnage is. So what happened? Oh, he's fine. He's fine? He made yeah, it? Yeah, we're good. You're good to go? We're all good. Well, Dave, I'll tell you what. Why don't you burn another battery? We'll go ahead and show people how this is made. Thank you. You like that? Yeah. Don't break my plane. It's awesome. All right, see you, David. Bye. All right, cool. A lot of fun. Ready to go. This little guy was an idea given to us by Dave Knopp. Thank from, you, Dave uh, Knopp. Quick, quick FX. You can check him out on YouTube. And the neat thing about those little parachutes is you can pick them up at party stores, little party favors, um, toy stores. They're everywhere. Cool. And a lot of fun. Yeah. Here's a, a piece of David Spitfire. And as you guys saw last week or earlier this week, um, it didn't end well. He lost. He lost. He lost and, bad. And the plane lost bad too. Yeah. So we actually just took this off because his bomb drop worked wonderfully. Mm -hmm. It was just the rest of it wasn't. It was there. just a timing thing. Just a timing thing. Just yeah. He could have whooped me, but it was just timing. Oh, uh, he had bad timing. Bad timing. Exactly. Horrible. So as you can see, the back of this was formally attached to the uh, Durfly Spitfire. Ripped it right off. It's just ripped right off. But you know what? It is perfect for showing people how to make their own bomb drop. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys have basically a piece of plywood, plastic like what you see here, a servo, a rubber band, and an anchor point. That's all you need. That's all you need. Uh, a couple key things to point out here with this is uh, you can drop anything, but what you gotta take careful care of is how your servo's positioned. You want it when it's latched to be all the way over so when it pulls, it doesn't stress out the servo. If you have the servo just barely holding on so all that tension is 90 degrees to the servo, it's gonna overheat your BEC and it's not a good thing. Okay. So try to get as much of a uh, I guess you could say lateral pull as possible on the servo. Right. And when it comes up, it'll still pop off easy as pie. Okay. It does seem to bind, take a little zip tie, put a little zip tie loop right here. The hard plastic glides off like So probably dropping a cowbell isn't a good idea because that would stress the servo. Hmm. Yeah, it's I think weighty. I think that's a little little weighty. Yeah, no, no cowbells. And it could cause brain damage to anybody's yeah. head. That yeah, that could cause lawsuits. I don't think AMA would appreciate it. Right. No. Stick with these guys, man. Stick with the Nerf guys, or um, some crepe paper. Or for a big kaboom, you can do something like this. Where'd you get those, man? Well, you know, I you remember sources. the court order? Yeah, well, you know, it's been a few months. Yeah, you know what, I'm televising this. We don't want to okay. show this off. No, you do not drop these, and plus, just, how would you light them? Just trying to make it fun. Give them to me. Give, them, them, give them to me. It's a real quick flight, Josh. Yeah, really quick. That's all right. You light them, you go, Yeah, you we drop. don't do that. Dude, do you have anything else over there? Yeah. It's kind of scaring me. Toilet paper. Uh, you know what? We're gonna want to put that back before uh, we finish this episode. Oh, you gotta go. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. All right. Basically, guys, this is a lot of fun. Um, make sure you, you know there's no court orders against dropping toilet paper on people's houses because probably it'll end there. But the key to success of toilet paper is roll about two feet out and then rubber band it down on there. Let this dangle. Basically, take it up real high. The drag this will cause it to unroll in the air. Okay. And uh, not that I've ever done it, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, take it up as high as you can, cut it on the way down. One good rain, the stuff is gone, and you're good to go. Hmm. Not yeah. that you've ever done it. Not that I've ever done it. Since a little hypocrisy flying around. Basically, so you got your two little slots you cut in here. That's your anchor point. Yep. Anchor point. And that goes to your servo. He goes to your servo, which is anchored down here. And uh, as you can see, Dave made this modular. The nice thing about Dave's design is, as you can see, he glued this off center. And that way, if you had something around, you could pull and actually flex and kind of wrap around there. Okay. You follow me? Good idea. Can you picture mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I picture it. Gotcha, so that's a pretty ingenious thing. Mm -hmm. uh, on my EPP FPV plane, I just simply had an anchor point at the far part of the wing and the servo uh, Frenched into the uh, wing on the other side. French. Frenched in, that means like flush. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. so it was set in there and uh, basically the servo turned 90 degrees, released the rubber band. But it was all the same principle as David's little design right here and it works really good. Cool. So basically guys, 
I'd recommend if you're gonna try bomb drop, go with this first. Basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. Absolutely. I think basically. we hit our quote on basically. We did? We did. Oh, okay. No more We're now. good then? Yeah, we're good. All right, well, thanks you guys for watching. Thanks, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode. We hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. Yes. Make sure you guys keep subscribing. Yes. And uh, are you sure about those little bombs? Yeah. I am positive Let's about those little bombs. No, do no. not do it. Let's put them on. The, the important thing is to have the CG about 45% back from the leading edge to yep. start with. And that's right about where your thumb is, correct? Yeah, about here. Very so cool. that's that's pretty good. Start out with that. That's a little, that's kind of perfect. You can go even further back. Okay. Depends on your skill level too, gotcha. how you handle it.